sign your name on that document, on that, and you stamp it, and then uncle comes back. Mm-mm. Attorneys interpret the law. They advise you on what to do based on, uh, you know, precedents that were set from uh, other cases and so forth. But when your name and your stamp goes into a document, at least in the state of California, that becomes a legal document, right? So for you to go into an ICU to go talk to someone's great grandmother who they know they should have gotten the power of attorney done 10 years ago, Facts. right? That's what you're charging them for, right? Yeah. Because you're exposing yourself to COVID-19, to any kind, I don't know what's going on in those hospitals, right? And then they want to come at the last minute, then you have to make a judgment call to say, okay, hey, grandma, how you doing? Hey, my name is uh, Tech. I'm here for the barbecue, right? Ha, 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 go, <laughs> right? If grandma says, oh, what they serving, ribs? You know what they serving, hot dogs? That's a, that's a red flag, right? Mm-hmm. Is grandma in the right mind? So you got to make these right, you got to make these decisions. Because if you sign your name on that document, on that, and you stamp it, and then uncle comes back, you know, 30 seconds or 30 days later, he's like, hey, hey, my grandma wasn't in her right mind to make right. that choice. Um, she didn't put her thumbprint on that on that on, on that journal. Yeah. How did you make that call? Protect your and, ass, ladies and gentlemen. Protect your ass. Protect your ass. And you know, I don't want to brag or uh, drag on to um, loan docs or real estate, but that's a large reason why I don't do very many real estate documents. Because yeah, me neither. Uh, I'll, I'll outsource it in a second. Man, man. You, you listen. I live in Oakland, man. Not San Francisco, by the way. Oakland, <laughs> but okay. My bad, my bad. You in the okay. Bay? You in the <laughs> Bay? Like we represent, man. East side Oakland, but but houses here are seven hundred seventy thousand dollars for average, right? Some high, some low. But you put your name on a million dollar mortgage policy, and um, that signer comes back and say, "Hey, hey, hey." The notary said, because they got the last person these people talk to is you, the notary. They they're Documents gets rejected. They try, they waited to the last minute to to complete their signing to close it, and then that interest rate changes. Or now because they were supposed to close on the tenth, and then it, it didn't, and then it has to come back. It has to be done again. It's supposed to be on eleven. Now they got to pay eighteen thousand dollars. Well, the notary said that uh, you know it always comes back to the notary, man. So your name going onto these documents, you got to know what you're doing. Like this is absolutely a real profession, right? This is a real, um, uh, I wouldn't say it's up here with lawyers and judges, right? But it's there. It is here. because it's, it's court, it's court appointed, right? You're a court yeah. appointed, uh, uh, a state official to, to notarize these things. And this is what the, loan companies, they could kiss my ass, right? Like, I'm, I'm going to let you guys know why I don't like what they do to notaries. I've, I'm, I'm that guy that don't like to see somebody get bullied, and I go and fight the bully. Like, all right, pick on me. You know what I mean? Like, all right, I see you picking on them. Now pick on me and watch me punch you in your mouth, right? <laughs> so what I see loan companies do to notaries, they mistreat them. They talk down to them. They underpay them, like grossly underpay them. Oh, yeah. And they act like they doing you a fucking favor. I'm like, I I had a notary put me on a conference call and I, I listened to the way this company in Atlanta talked to him. Like, like, we're gonna blackball you and, and do all it. Like, are you serious? I was like, tell him kiss your ass. I text him. I was like, tell him kiss your ass, right? <laughs> um, but you have to understand something. These loan officers are salespeople. First and foremost, they are salespeople. That is their job. They are supposed to persuade, convince, negotiate prices. That's how they were able to get that deal in the first place to say, hey, we can offer you this interest rate. Go with us instead of go with ABC, whatever. And they know, they know for a fact that are the last person that can make that deal go through right 
So if you're going to kiss anybody's ass, you're going to kiss that notary's ass to do it, right? No, I'm not going to bring you no, no, no cookies and tea and scrumpets. I'm not bringing you no <laughs> damn scones. Not scrumpets, man. I'm not doing it. It's a business. I have a business. You have a business. Respect mine. I'm going to respect yours. These are my prices. And I want to let you guys know something. It's not the reason why they're offering you these low prices is not because they they don't respect you. They're offering you these low prices because other notaries are accepting these low ass prices. So if we could get enough people, and I'm not trying to save the damn world here, but if we could get enough notaries to understand their value in this in, in this market, we can bring some damn balance here. There's no way somebody should be doing a reverse mortgage for forty dollars, bro. I've seen it. I've seen 30. it come through. Forty? I saw thirty. I've seen that too. I, I was trying to be generous. Yeah. Hi, my name is Renee Denton, and I am the owner of California Notary Agency. I am telling you a little bit about my experience with the Cashflow Academy. Mr. Toledo and his agency, the U.S. Notary Agency, has been tremendous to my growth and my ability to scale my loan signing service. With that being said, if it wasn't for him, I would not know all of the things that I have from just his personal coaching, his personal mentoring, and just in general, telling me how to market my business, how to excel, how to leverage, phone scripts, you name it, everything. He had, if it wasn't for himself, his due diligence with me I would never be where I am now let me just give you a sneak peek 23 K a month from just escrow companies from our agency was able to do in the first six months of our business that is just tremendous and a salute to mr. Toledo if it wasn't for him from just Google my business from marketing ourselves to just doing mock calls with escrow companies how to find notaries he will tell you everything how to scale your businesses. So thank you so much, Mr. Toledo, for just investing and investing into Ms. Renee. And I applaud you and I thank you so much. Gratitude. XYXX.